after security scare last evening, security was beefed up around Paipil Primary School ahead of the requiem mass of the late Lieutenant General Paul Okech. Padel Aradisi Dusman OK confirms that already one person is under custody. In his letter to the mourners, President Chori Kaguta Museveni confirmed that a suspected suicide bomber was intercepted. We arrested somebody with suspicious materials that the security believe those materials can be used to make bombs. The ADF had apparently sent a suicide bomber there in Padil to kill mourners. Unfortunately, the man, the main actor, <coughs> was arrested. Despite the restrictions, thousands of mourners made it to Paipi Primary School to send off their loved one. Former President of Somalia, Sheikh Sharif Ahmed Sharif, was one of the mourners to send off the Lion of Mogadishu. General Loket was admired by all Somalis for, for his dedicated service. Paul Lokesh is not dead. Paul Lokesh, but all. Paul Lokesh will talk for a long, long time. It's worth celebrating his legacy. The security forces eulogized Lieutenant General Paul Lokech as a servant leader. Was able to oversee UPDF troops trekking over 1,000 miles from Bafasende to the border of Congo, Mpondwe, during the withdrawal of the UPDF. He believed in being part of something larger than himself. You don't need a position to be a leader. You can lead from the back. And he has demonstrated this very, very well. It Last evening, the Joint Acholi Subregion Council resolved that a proposal be sent to President Choi Kaguta Museven that the late Major General Paul Lokech be promoted to general. However, in his letter to the mourners, President Choi Kaguta Museveni promoted the late to Lieutenant General. I hereby using the military, the, the authority given to me as president by Article 19, but Articles 98 and 99 of the 1995 Constitution of, the, uh, of Uganda, promote Major General Paul Lokech posthumously to the rank of Lieutenant General. Like most assignment, his recent appointment as the, I, the, the PTGIP accorded him opportunity to spend more time and quality family time with him. But little did, I, did we know it would be cut short on the morning of August 21st. <laughs> The land of Mogadishu has rested today. However, the legacy of Lieutenant General Paul Lokech is set to live on, as evident from the different speeches they were giving today during his requiem mass. Ali Mivule, NTV.